I'm trolling for Pike with Christian Müller from Denmark. Christian has a great amount of experience fishing with this particular method over large water masses where he works several lures in different depths. We're fishing with three rods on each side of the boat and four of the rods are fishing with a side planer which is mounted directly on the line. This way the lures spread out to the sides and we can cover a very large area. The technique for fishing with side planers is very simple. While the boat is moving one to two knots, you let out your lure to the desired length here around 20 to 30 meters. The side planer is then attached with a clip and a line clamp at an angle that will pull the side planer and lure out to the side and away from the boat. In this case, we're fishing a crankbait about four to five meters down and 40 to 50 meters behind the boat. The depth of fishing depends on the choice of lure, boat speed, and distance to the side planer. Christian is fishing a large alien eel, which is one of his favorite lures for this style of fishing and has given him great success on earlier trips. It is late spring and the weather is very varied good conditions, but not much happens even though we try a variety of areas. Oh, I think I had a strike there. Yes, it's fish. He's out there pretty good. Yeah, yeah. He's angry. Oh, I think this is a nice fish, actually. Be careful now. Typical after spawn fish here in May. Four, four and a half kilo fish. Bye bye. Let me keep the hook and let me Oh, oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, super. Hook up. This one's still kind of deep. I want to get a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna put With the side planers here, we're fishing sort of a broad area, and we got different lures working at different depths. Yeah, and exactly. um, and also we're fishing over different depths. Yeah, exactly. And do you think the pike are up in the water? Or do you think they're down on the bottom? And, and, and what kind of depths do you do you like to fish? I actually over? think they they right now this time of year they you know they're, they're both you know yeah I can see a lot of the pike that we have caught today they have been standing on the bottom you know. Um, but the water here is, is the, the visibility. They have on exactly, them, exactly, got, exactly yeah. on the belly, and they got they got mud on the belly, you know. Mm -hmm. But the visibility in the water right now, the side is, is actually quite good, you know. So um, yeah, it's no problem fishing high high in the water. You know, the yeah. fish will rise to, to grab the, the bait. bait, and they'll come up. 
And these, uh, these eels uh, that we've had uh, a, a good success with today, about how deep do they fish when you're fishing behind a planer like this? Uh, right now where we fish them uh, 30, 20, 30 meters behind the boards um, and with the speed we are, we are going at right now, they fish between four and five meters down. Yep. But the good thing about them is that if you speed your boat up, they'll just rise a little bit higher in the water. And if you slow your boat down, they'll still fish, you know? Yep. So they be actually they behave just like a real fish and with the boat and with the control and how you steer your boat you can actually decide how you want to fish that particular lure. So let's see what we have. Oh yeah, shaking your head. How's it feel? Oh, it feels okay. Not uh, huge, but it's uh... okay. Is okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there Here it comes. We go. We're gonna see something soon. Yeah. It's a sander. It's a sander. That's wow. a good-looking sander. <laughs> nice one. That's a good sander, you know. Oh yeah, what a beauty. That is a good looking oh, sander. Yeah. What is that, a six kilo sander? Yeah. No wonder it stayed down deep and was heavy, huh? Do you, those, was do you get those often on these? No, no, no. It's, it's, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, it's not the first one I got, you know, but it's, it's quite rare, you know. It is definitely a pike lure, but... Uh, That fish, he, he hit right when we came up on sort of a point where there was a shallow shoal yeah, yeah, coming exactly, out, exactly. about five, yeah. six meters, something like that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It was on, on the edges, on the drop-off to from five, six, seven meters down to 12, 13 meters, you know. It was like a classic point, you know. Is that how you like to fish these when it's a big lake like this and there's, you know, pretty much the fish could be anywhere and then, then yeah. Uh, of course, if you have past experiences, you go where you caught the fish last time, but if it's a new lake or, or you've only yeah. fished there a couple times, yeah. what, what what, what type of things do you look for and, and how do you kind of plan your, your route when you're yeah. pulling the lures? I mean, before before I even go to the water, I have a, I have like a, a, a thought in my mind, like where, where I want to go, where I want to fish and how I want to fish. And, uh, and and already before I start fishing, I, I point out different kinds of, of areas in the lakes where I would like to present my bait and, for and the what, fish. And what kind of areas is that when you're at home planning the trip? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for, for edges, drop off. I'm looking at where the wind has been on for the last couple of days. Where the wind's been pushing? Yeah, exactly, because that's going to move a lot of bait fish, which is, of costly what the pike is, is looking for. And how do you use it? You know, you do part of it at home looking at a map and then when you're on the water you have the electronics. Yeah. You have exactly. your sounder showing the, your bait fish and your actual depth and you also have the chart and the plotter showing yeah. your route. And, exactly. This is and, like helping tools that is like help, helping me to, to present the, the lure in the exact place, you know, to, to catch the fish. Christian is also fishing with a dead herring mounted in a plastic lip skull, which gives the dead bait a lifelike swimming action in the water. Is that something you use often, or? You know, I like like to like just like you said. You know, I like to to try different kinds of baits. You know, and sometimes they they want the smelly fish, the, the smelly herring, which is a you know a real dead fish, but like fish like a real crankbait. You know, you got the same opportunity with that bait yeah, I saw as you the got. Action in the yeah, water. Oh, yeah, it's, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Real it, lively, nice. Yeah, it, it actually moves better than a real fish, doesn't it? You know, and sometimes, some days, some periods of the day, that's just the lure that they they want. You know. Yep. But I also think from, from a personal point of view, when you see like a real fish in the water, you know, you tend to have more belief in that than something in plastic or rubber, maybe. But some days, you know, they want the other lures, they don't want to touch your real herring and in the lip skulls. That's fishing, you know. It, yep.
here. Oh, look at this tail there. Nice looking fin. It's heavy. Oh, come on, let's see what it is. Yeah, you know. Are you gonna make me get the net ready? No, uh, I'm not sure, Gordon. I'm not sure, you know. This is heavy. It's a strong fish. Oh yeah, there we have it. It's good. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Super right fish on. going on. Right on. Oh, right on it. On carry. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Good one. Uh, good. Wait. Okay, let's see. One hundred and twelve. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. One hundred and twelve. Yes. Oh yeah. All right, go ahead and put her back. I'll put her back. Okay.